Is Project Zomboid one of the most fun games I've ever played? No. But what I can say is that it's the best zombie survival game that I've ever played. Hello, my name is Jonathan Rosenblum, head game critic at Tibbs TV. And are you the kind of sick fuck who likes to be stressed? I kind of do. I get shitty when I don't have a good challenge in front of me. Just like I get extra bitchy when I drink Pepsi. Anyways, I tell myself it's completely normal to need to have a stressor in your life to constantly overcome, and playing Project Zomboid solo can be that perfect stress, because it's so fucking well-designed stress. For example, it's not uncommon in survival games to rip up clothes and then create bandages to heal yourself using those clothes. And you can do that in Project Zomboid. You just gotta boil them first. And it's true that in most survival games, you need to cook and learn recipes, but in this one, you need to be motherfucking Julia Child and set the oven to the right temp and cook it at the right time, all to make sure it doesn't burn. The devs really go the extra mile on every system, and as a result, the game is constantly refreshing itself as you learn more and more. The town becomes a little familiar. Maybe you find some weapons on your old corpse. Or maybe you die and you get a random spawn in a house with an alarm going off and you get eaten in mere seconds. Because that's really fun and fair. See, the problem with these super real systems is that you hit these really hard walls really fast and then the game turns into a grind. A stressful grind, because you can die and lose your progress at any time. Let's say you're making a base, and then you need to board up the windows and cover them so no light gets out and attracts zombies in the nighttime. That takes around five real life hours, because in game you were an IT ghoul with low level carpentry skills before the apocalypse broke out. No light shining out to attract zombies, all the windows are secure, and then you realize your guy is bored, starving, tired, and panic for no fucking reason because that poorly dressed piece of shit has been inside the house all day. Does that sound familiar? So then you go out to get supplies for your base, and when you get back, you get fucking killed by a zombie that snuck in your house, broke through a window you had boarded up, and destroyed everything you spent the last five hours building. If you get lucky, you will spawn 20 real-time minutes away, and you need to run that entire distance back to your base. Sure, it's realistic, but it's fucking tedious, and it sucks, because real life fucking sucks. And yet the game does not. In fact, the game's actually really, really good. It just got its most recent update, and now it plays super smooth. It's just too ruthless sometimes, and playing solo can especially suck, because where this game really pops off is when you get a group going. So if you had a friend back in 2013 who together you played through the glitch fest that was DayZ, well then this game is for you, because it's like that, but without the glitches. It's such a good game, it might be worth picking up that phone and calling that friend. With the Game Standard here at Tibbs TV, I'm Jonathan Rosenblum. Look, Pim. I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here?